Hey guys, again, Sterling here. Super excited to be walking you guys through this entire playlist. But today we're going to be exploring a little bit different than React. This is going to be focused mainly about the extend keyword that we've been seeing to create a class component. Well, to kind of give you an overview of the last session, we talk about different type of component in React. We talk about higher order component, class component, functional component. Definitely check them out if you've missed them out. Oh, there's a link on the top right corner above. Definitely check these out, okay? All right, so let's talk about the extend keyword. What is this extend keyword? In order to understand this, I'm gonna go ahead and do something very, very basic just to kind of give you guys an idea of what we are dealing with. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and comment these lines of code out for now and comment also the, the 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 export default and all right let's go ahead and forget all of this now forget about the react well okay we're gonna focusing about just javascript for now just to kind of give you guys an idea so in javascript there's a new concept called inheritance and this is what we're going to experience using this now let's say we have a class called animal and within this class called animal we can say we have a function called eat and we have another function called sleep and maybe we have another function called walk, right? We can have as many functions as we want. And let's say we have another class called dog, right? And dog itself, the only thing that dog has, he has something called bark, okay? So let's take a look at these two classes. And by the way, these two classes are considered as constructor. This is just a new way of doing things using ES6. All right, B, once again, get back to the two, class, two classes we have what do we have down here well here's the thing that we have we have something called eat sleep walk from the animal class well if we extend the dogs class with the animal class what we basically saying is we technically taking every single thing that the animal uh, class has and now make it available over the dog including the function that the dog has this is once again let me let me delete this and get back we are extending the dog with everything that is inside the animal what that mean is everything that the animal has now the dog has it as well so what does that mean when we are doing react uh, uh whatever class we have that extend well react has a class called component if i'm not mistaken well within this class that component it has something called set state they have something you know they have something called state or different other things that they have that you know different function that they have going on moving forward well Let's say we they have something called render and they have something whatever else component did mount. They can have as many things as they want, included state, like whatever state as an object, whatever they have. But the bottom line is they have a lot of things within the object. Well, when we do, when we create our app, we technically do hold on. When we create our application, we do app extends component. What we really say, and we're saying, all right, whatever is inside the component class, we are bringing everything inside of it down here. Well, what does that mean? That means, let's go back to the wheel application we had. Well, that means everything that I have within the, within the component class, it's now also available inside the app class. Well, if we want to see this, let's just console log the keyword this. If this doesn't make sense to you guys, just bear with me. We're just gonna console log the keyword this, which is gonna go and refer to a lot of things that is inside this component. And let's take a look. Look at that. We got a lot of things that is inside of it, such as we got the state, ref, props, context, updater. We got so many other things that was from the component class that we now have available over the app component. And ladies and gentlemen, this is what the keyword extent is doing. It's a concept in JavaScript called inheritance, and this is how it works. And this is what we are technically doing whenever we do extend React that component. This is getting everything from the React that component, make it available over the app class.